Okay, everyone, so today we're doing a review on a scanner, but a little bit different of a scanner. This is an Autofix D1 Elite, and this one is actually manufactured by Autel, which is a very interesting situation altogether. Now, this scanner is $300 range, I would say. Um, it's not bad for a bi-directional scanner, but also can do some coding also. Basic coding, we'll call it. Uh, can, can FD and DOIP, auto VIN recognition, all the kind of stuff that you want uh, for your everyday mechanic, either everyday mechanic, weekend mechanic, or even semi-professional mechanic. So in the box, we have an actual hard case to start off with, right? It's kind of what you need if you're gonna take this thing in the car and travel it all, you need a hard case. We have a whole book, user manual, that tells you how to use it. We have a Bluetooth dongle. You actually hook up this USB, you can actually hook up. It's got a USB, USB port in front, um, LAN to USB-C. We also have a wall charger, USB-C wall charger. What's nice about all the new scanners, everything uses USB-C. And that's nice because you have, like everything uses that, right? Your phone uses that, pretty much any device at all uses that. And here we have the actual scanner itself use it once it's got some fingerprints on it and uh power button on top is a very thin scanner it's about the size of your phone and the top here we have a port opens up with sd card your charging ports everything like that has a nice camera on the back of it so as you guys know we have some pretty complex stuff in the shop on a regular basis and we're going to see how this does this is a 2016 uh, F15 BMW X5, 35, uh, 35i, I believe it was, I don't remember, N55 engine. We're going to just see, start from zero and see where it goes here. Now we have, right now the dongle is in, the key, the ignition is on. All these new scanners, they're going to turn the ignition off and on every time you scan it, just the way they operate. So starting right now, we have a very common layout. You can see the back screen for it just went to this one where it has like an Android operating system. There we go. We saw the auto flash through it. Uh, let me see here. We do not want to register that on camera. So let's go into diagnostics. Okay. Uh, it's already seen the VIN number, BMW. Uh, Okay, and then let's just hit the OBD button up here. Let's just see what that does. All right, you going? You going there, little guy? Hopefully. Loading program. Your average scanner should take anywhere from, let's say, 15 to 20 seconds to actually load. Like once you start scanning, I'm gonna prop that up just a little bit more, maybe. That's a little better for you guys. Not too much glare, but there's always some glare in it, right? There's always some. All right, so there's a VIN number. Hit OK, let's just see here. Decode the VIN, just that quick. Um, yes, that is right. You see a little menu on the bottom here. This is actually gonna break down everything there and shut the car off. It's going to scan it again, turn it back on. You have all kinds of stuff in the menu here. I'll show you here in a second. So far, it's going pretty quickly and pretty easily. Got that little door still. Probably should not mess with that wire filling, but there we go. Got to click back down. Still got a nasty, nasty glare in it. Let's try to get that up and out of the way. There. Well, now it's on the top. It's just the way it is. We'll fool around a little bit while we're decoding that VIN number. So this will do all your surface resets, like TPS, TPMMS, TPMS, you can tell I'm tired. ABS, ESP, uh, does all the gateway for the steering wheel radio, air conditioning. This will also do a lot of your stuff on your German cars with the electronic hatch, uh, the sunroof operation, live data, all that stuff. Let me see here. 
So we have four options here, diagnose, service, hot functions, and vehicle profile. If we go into service, this should be all of your oil change stuff. All your service intervals. Let's just see if that actually is it. So no check control messages. Get the oil reset there. This is not what I was looking for though. Let's go diagnose first. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go into all that here in a second. All right, so this is scanning all the ECUs now. That was pretty painless. Operating system's a little bit different though. I'm not, I'm not as fluent with this as with other models. <clears throat> couple fault codes popped up to scan everything out what I did notice about this thing it is a lot easier if you plug the dongle in first then turn the scanner on everything goes a little quicker than if you turn the scanner on then plug the dongle in the auto recognition works a lot better transfer box I don't think that's much of anything let's take a look at it and see this code is for uh, transfer box oil wear all right so nobody's ever reset that Let's go ahead and go back. I want to look at a few other things here. Airbag light. Let's see what the airbag, airbag light says. Uh, so in, before you hit recodes, it has the read codes, the race codes, active tests, all this other stuff on here. All right, shows permanent code. Front passenger airbag valve resistance too high. All right, so I'm going with airbag more than likely. So before we go any further, I want to show you the menu on the bottom here. So your home button is your main menu, obviously. You also have a back button you can hit to go back to the previous page, which is kind of nice. Your updates, your battery tests. You can buy a separate module for this to test the battery. Um, all this other stuff. The Max Fear, I believe that's your for your OEM books and some things like that. Uh, your service. Let's just go into service. I want to show you a couple things on here. Uh, okay. No, that's not what we wanted. I think we're on the bottom here. Here's your Android operating system, essentially. There's a nasty glare on that sucker. We need to be like right here, right? There we go. Uh, down the bottom, we also have the next button. This is the, I believe it's the auto fix. Um, almost like the service manual page deal. I'm not sure. I haven't messed with that too much. Back to that, your camera operation, all right? It's your next one. Takes a second to start up. There we are. Backwards facing camera. Next one is your volume adjustment, all that stuff. All right, I apologize. I lost myself here and forgot how to get in the menus. You go scan the car. I was trying to get to the hot functions button is actually where it's labeled at. And this is gonna be all your, uh, all your service stuff, your, battery monitoring system, your brake bleeds, automatic brake bleed, um, your parking brake stuff, your maintenance items, your oil reset, your injector coating, uh, your airbag coating stuff, uh, suspension, and there we go. The TPMS, uh, just all kinds of stuff in here that you're gonna use on a daily basis. And this, will, this is what a cheaper scanner is usually missing. And this one has all this stuff. So very interesting for our German car shop here. I do work on some, some American stuff too. And, um, you know, it works on pretty much everything. Reading through the stuff here. Works on just about anything. It works on 95% of the models for US, Japanese, and German model cars and trucks. So that's pretty nice. And it's so thin, you can actually slip this bad boy right in your glove box. It is super, super, super thin. Look at that. About as thick as your, your phone is with a case on it. So a very interesting situation altogether. Um, I'll put a link to the description for the scanner. The scanner, like I said, is a neighborhood of 300 bucks. Uh, they're running a deal right now for Black Friday. You have to look up there and see exactly how, I think it's 20% off. I think it was like 319 out the door at this very minute. Um, Thank you again to AutoFix or Autel for sending this to me. Definitely a handy little device that we will put to good use around the shop here. That's for sure.
So that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. The X5 is still in here waiting on parts, waiting on this, waiting on that, waiting on everything. It's almost Thanksgiving. Everybody have a th happy Thanksgiving. If I don't make another video before then, I probably will not. Then we have some stuff to figure out. What we're we gonna post? We're gonna post car fixing videos again. We have a whole bunch of cars to make videos on. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know or what you think of the scanner in the comments below. That link will be in the description if you wanna purchase the scanner. Thanks for watching.